I hastily scribbled this prayer a couple minutes ago, and I felt like I should share it with you. This is God, keep us tender. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. I commend former President Donald J. Trump, beloved image bearer, loved by you, along with his family and all who love him, into your care. May your grace be on him and with him. I commend your many children who are frightened and shaking as the foundations themselves rattle. I pray for them. I pray for us. Send your comforter to hold everything in us together and show us how to hold one another. To the one who wept over Jerusalem, the Christ who cries as a mother hen to gather us from the endless cycle of human violence. Gather scattered and unstable hearts and show us the way of self-sacrifice and surrender we have not chosen, but yet might. To the one who cried out, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do on the cross. Deliver us from evil, and specifically the evil that is forgetting the humanity of one another. May we hear the voice that reminds us that our enemies are not flesh and blood. Would you remind us that the only reason you ever give us to name our enemies is that we might know who to bless. To the one who said, put away your sword and never took it back, deliver us from our addiction to our weapons, our dependence on them, our idolatrous worship of them. To the one who blessed the peacemakers, show us how to repent from the detachment that allows us to be numbed or even entertained by the spectacle of violence and chaos. Teach us how to join you in your spirit's holy work of making peace in the world. Spirit of truth, deliver us from rashness, the need for meaning making, and from our retreats to clinical analysis that keep us from having to go from our heads into our hearts. Deliver us from delusions, from confusion, from scapegoating, from ideology. Deliver us from fatalism, inevitability, from blaming you or blaming a script when you have called us to be co-creators and agents of your healing who rewrite the story of retribution by the power of your spirit. Deliver us from fear, baptize us into agency. Deliver us from navel-gazing and from inflating the self-importance of our times so that we might attend to the moment rather than working so hard to diagnose it. As the world still waits with eager longing for the revealing of the children of God, may we not passively wait for you, but be the manifestation of your spirit to the world. Most of all, Jesus Christ, Son of God, keep us tender, keep us open, fill us with love in the days of trouble. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.